this tale be the God's honest truth. Mm. If you find it to be a lie, you can hang me from the tallest yard arm and drag me lifeless body behind the ship till barnacles grow on me nappers. I was a young swabby on my first pirate cruise out of Tortuga. After a week at sea, we were hit by a fierce storm. The winds were four, 100 miles per hour. We had swells that were 100 feet, and the rain came down so hard it made your head bleed. Well, a lightning bolt came down and shivered the main mast in two. The captain came up and said, Sailor, row for shore and look for provisions and fresh water. I, I captain says I, and I jump in me dinghy and I start rowing for shore. After a week of rowing, I find a small spit of an island that had fresh water and cannibals. And they were looking to me for their next meal. Well, I knew it was curtains for me, but the chief's daughter took a special liking to me. She were a fright to look at, eight feet tall if she were an inch, covered with hair and had hands the size of a crow's nest. <laughs> but she liked to cut me too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, she grabbed me with one of those giant hands, stripped me naked with the other, and threw me down on me bed. I saw my chance to escape and scuttled out the bottom of the tent and ran back down to the beach. But my dinghy was gone. All I was standing there naked with nothing but a dinghy rope in my hand. <laughs> Well, I looked behind me, there's a hundred starving cannibals coming down upon me. So I took the easy way out and dove into the shark-infested waters and swam without stopping for two days and four nights until they reached my ship. <laughs> Climbing up the side of the ship, I stood upon the deck, and the captain spies me and says, Sailor, where you been? You're late. He says, as punishment, I want you to sweep this anchor chain until it gleams in the morning light. Aye, aye, Captain says I, and I grabs me a broom and I starts to sweep in the chain. But no sooner than I'd started than a turn, this foul seabird lands on me broom handle. I take the bird and I throw it overboard and I start to sweep him, but the turn comes back and lands upon me broom. Shove off, you foul feathered fiend, says I. I've got a job to do, and I take the bird and I toss it overboard with all me might. But the bird merely flies back up and lands upon me broom. Fire! Mother of Pearl says I, and I throw it overboard, and it flies back, and I throw it overboard, and it flies back, and all night this happens. <laughs> when morning comes, so does the captain, and he were fierce bad. What you been doing all night, sailor, says he. This chain is no cleaner than when you started. Captain says I, and this be the God's honest truth. I was tossing a turn all night, couldn't sweep a link. <laughs> <laughs> 